For English 1302, Pinterest will be a prime tool for collecting some of your research and artifacts. Pinterest is pretty simple to use. You can either search for things directly on the site, and repin items that you see. Or you can pin from any, any place on the internet. All you have to do is copy and paste the URL, click on this Add button, click from Add from Website, and paste your website URL right here and click on Next. It will then allow you to select the board that you would like to pin the item to. If you go to this little three line bar and go down to about, we can get to here where you'll see goodies located on the top. This has a variety of buttons um, that you can add to your toolbar, widgets, um, apps for different devices, that just make it easier to pin. The easiest way is to install the uh, Pinterest button directly to your toolbar so anytime you're on the internet all you have to do is click on the Pinterest button next to your toolbar and you can select whatever image or video from that website you want to add to your Pinterest board. I highly recommend using that. To get to your boards, all you do is you click on your name up here and go to your profile and pins and you will pull up your account with all of your boards. You should be pinning your artifacts to your group board. Remember that I'm using the Harry Potter board as a running example throughout the semester. So you should be looking for artifacts that illustrate some sort of literacy from your chosen fandom community. You will want to pin that image or video, and then in the description you're going to label each pin a unique number, and you're going to explain what you see of literacy going on. For example, here is a Quidditch spear pong game. For the literacy observations, I examine the contents and function, the participation, the motivation. These are three of the five parts of literacy that we learned from our reading. I also looked at Scribner's literacy's adaptation metaphor as adapting part of the text, part of the book, the Harry Potter, into a practical game. You can go through my board to see various examples of what your literacy observation should look like. Here's a YouTube video that we watched in class as an example. As you can see, oops. as you can see, I labeled it artifact number seven. There's a brief explanation of what it is, and then I labeled this as a literacy as power, because Rachel Rostad in her slam poetry competition video here talks about how books such as Harry Potter specifically have the power to represent minority populations differently in pop culture versus um, some of them instead choosing to create representations that play into existing stereotypes. And here, of course, Rachel Rusted uh, criticizes J.K. Rowling for um, not going far enough challenging these stereotypes and instead playing into some of them with some of the characters within the Harry Potter series. In your actual field notes, you'll type up um, in a Word document about a hundred words explaining what, what you see going on in this pin of literacy. Um, you'll reference the artifact number and you'll spend a hundred words talking about what part of literacy do you see going on here? What can you relate it to the readings from ethnographic inquiries and writing? Um, how do you see this discourse community operating, this fandom? What literacy practices and events do you see? Um, what five parts of literacy do you see? Do you see any of the literacy metaphors that Scribner talks about? Um, do you see any of the economics of literacy like Brandt talks about in her essay? So you want to find ways that you can relate it um, to different parts of the reading 
or to how they illustrate how those members of that fandom operate as a discourse community. And we will be doing this all semester long as we examine uh, how your chosen fandom operates as a discourse community and we look at their literacy practices and events. So all part of your ethnographics essay. Remember, an ethnography is a study of culture and we are studying how fandoms operate as a subculture and examining specifically their literacy practices. How do they use literacy? How do they communicate? Um, what types of media are they creating and sharing? Those types of things. So if you get stuck, you can go to uh, my Harry Potter board to kind of get an idea of some examples. You can also look and see uh, what your other group members have pinned, maybe get some ideas from there as well. And don't forget, uh, anything I've shown in lecture that you want to talk about in your essays, you can find on my lecture board. You can also find various uh, studying tips um, on my Pinterest page as well, including um, here uh, va basic computer tutorials. Some of them are how to use Pinterest um, and other things that you may find useful in your research project throughout the semester. If you have any questions, uh, Feel free to contact me through eCollege. I hope you find Pinterest to be an easy research tool to help you collect your, dat your data, to organize it, and to kind of collect your thoughts about um, what you're seeing and how it might fit into your broader research paper.